searching for the witch Ciri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Ciri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Ciri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. After going through that very interesting autopsy here, it's time for us to leave. It's obvious that this place is not safe for us to linger anymore. We need to skedaddle. Oh, hold on. Let's go. Come on. Get over here. There you go. There you go. You too. Look at that. I am cutting and slaying these wolves. Exquisite. Oh. Come here. Okay. Anyone else trying to come at me? The Wolf King can suck it, Greta. Anyways, to my YouTube watchers out there, viewers, watchers, however you want me to call you, this is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, Please subscribe to the channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. Now, this animal here... It's dead. But a pig here? Must be a clue. Must be a human settlement nearby. Ooh, there you go. So we are actually closer to some sort of human civilization. And frankly, I'm all for it because I don't know what type of situation I walked into, but the cave. The cave? Greta, are you sure the cave is wise? You know what happens in caves? Bad stuff. That's what happens. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Oh, look at you sounding brave. Oh, hell no. Yo, what is that? Is that the wolf man? What? The wolf king. Now do you believe me? I do. Hide. Oh, this is about to be crazy. Oh. Hey, doggy. Woo! Oh, thank goodness. Ooh. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Come on. Come on. This is bad. Woo. Okay. Am I good? Yeah, I'm Gucci. Come here, Woofy Woofy. Boy, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. Yeah, that wolf guy was mm, a nasty character. I didn't even get to kill him either. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Baron, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren uh, torn to pieces like, like no chopped tits. liver. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've I've not missed, but my oh, come is on. a powerful man. Poor I'm sure to help you. I my hate poor people. You for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Well, at least this guy. At least that man was pretty helpful. <gasps> Bread, cheese, apples, some liqueur. Oh yeah, I'm good. I am so happy and good. Up, oh, the Baron. The bloody Baron. 
I guess he actually wanted to be nice for once. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? What a sleaze bag. Fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. He only brought us here so he can get money out of it. That conniving little bastard. But I can tell these girls are all hungry. Very. Thank you. i would not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great Look at him being nice. The half. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. Wow. The compassion. That is one so hell of a story. I to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah. A topic for another time. How convenient. How convenient. I came here to know where my daughter is. And you leave me at a cliffhanger. And for what? Like, what is the reason? What is the reason? The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. Mm -hmm. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. So you made Siri her into told a servant. Me of the girl's parents what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. Mm. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. She is humble. I like that. I've told you already. A topic for another time. Baron, come on, my man. I need to know where my kid is. Uh... Take it you won't give me this information for free. So <laughs> what's the price? Sharp you are. Mm -hmm. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. So you I want me to find them? An exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Man, it's like every time I ask for help, someone's like, well, you gotta help me first. Before Thing I help is, you back. Can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? Yeah, Baron. <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Mmm, that sucks. And he's laughing about it. What if I refuse? Because I just don't want to. Would you tell me to sod off? Go yeah. Ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what will that make us? Two helpless, empty handed sods. Mm. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly then. Yeah, he has a point. God, this man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Oh, I'm honored, Baron. Thank you. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When Thank did you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. So, either they were kidnapped, or they ran away. So... You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks if you're looking to hide someone. This is the place. So, his men are very good at damaging properly, property to get what they want, but they're definitely not sharp enough to do detective work. Okay. Okay. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? That's what I'm saying. Mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. Okay, so no enemies. So at this point, what if they actually ran away because they wanted to? 
This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? Yes. What do you mean? This I castle. I for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? Yeah. Your men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. Okay, so they were definitely not being harassed by his men. So maybe either something's going on that made them want to run away from you and you're not telling me, or you probably don't know what's really going on and can't really figure out what made them leave in the first place. Anything unusual happened before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Oh no. Devoured another last before her. Damn. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things nothing unusual can you tell me about her things and anna if she's quite as a mouse um why would she even run away in the first place if she sounds like someone who just you know goes with the flow i'll need to know a lot more than that can i see their rooms what for i need clues Anything to latch on to. Come on, Baron, you want help, right? Stranger pour through their belongings. So you don't want help. Not. Exactly. Help me help you. Then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. Okay. A lot. I don't care. Let me do my job. With or without you standing next to me. I don't care. You want me to find your kids? Then this is how we find your kid and wife. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? Aww. <laughs> you see it there? Whoa, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. D damn it! Jammed again. Our bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Thank you. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. No worries. I won't make any unnecessary spills. Wooden candlestick. Stem's broken. Wait. If the stem is broken, that means she must have used it as a weapon for self-defense. Or it actually fell on the floor due to her being clumsy. Ooh. She won't need any of that at the moment. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Bendito, the husband. Missing his wifey, the father missing his child. He misses their company. He's alone. He's scared. He's distraught. That's why he tells me not to touch anything. Leave it exactly the way it is because, well, he just wants everything to go back to normal. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. Like a picture? That painting? Right size. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you. I definitely need that. The painting, though. Huh. No, sorry. Where's the painting? That's what I want to know. Where is this painting in question? Because I feel like we could definitely hang something here, right? Ooh. The Baron and his wife. 
Look happy enough. So that's the missus, huh? Okay. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole and what's on the other side. What? Huh. Interesting. What's in this this closet here? Hmm. It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. I knew it. So that candlestick was used as self-defense. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Interesting. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. I already did this. What's I already this? did this. Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide. Okay, the so no and new dialogue. No new dialogue, right. You know what? Wait, what's this? Oh. Hold up. I didn't even notice splatter on the floor. That is insane. I need to go to the other room. Something crazy must have happened in there. What's this? They don't need this. Incense. A rusted key. An old key. Wonder what it unlocks. How much you wanna bet? Anise, sandalwood, and something else. Saffron. Ooh. We are more like a family. We support each other and help each other survive tough moments, grapple with the past. For each of us has a past. So you needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule. Never ask more than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us. Only the future does. That and our common fight against evil and depravity. Against perverse and loathsome practices of all kinds. Oh, whoa, what is this? What is this interesting mist? You know what? Let me let me look at that room over there. I feel like either I'm really tweaking or that was like a big clue. Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Oh no, a voodoo doll. What? Who, who's trying to curse this family? Oh, this is crazy. We got a voodoo doll right here. So... How do you know they actually left? What if they've never left at all? What if they, you know, got killed and their bodies are like... Hidden away somewhere here. Oh, whoa, what is this? Hold on. This mist. This mist here is like. Are you bloody serious right now, Barnes Guard? You farting up a storm and think that's just. Funny, amusing. You bloody disgusting. That's what well, it is. Bring out the gimp. Make the gimp sleeping. Well, I guess you just stop. Okay, so this up. mist here. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna follow this mist because this red mist is gonna give me mad clues. Ooh, I'm very tempted to. Don't 
fucking judge me, okay? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I need this more than you, okay? And since I'm already on the job, I might as well just get paid for it. Is that more stuff for me to take? Don't judge me. An altar. So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. Well, well, well. Some witchery is happening. Eternal fire, which lighteth our hearts and giveth us light. Heat us with thy warmth. Dry our tears. Burn our foes. Embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health. Punish my father. <gasps> Help me fulfill my destiny. Ooh. Mm, 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 the daughter. Oh, something's going on with the family. Did you see what that prayer said? Punish my father? Clearly the daughter was the one who wrote that. But why? Why does she want to punish the dad? And by punishing the dad... Are you dead ass asleep? Wow. Anyways... So by punishing the dad, is that her doing the voodoo? Is that her convincing her mom to just run away together? Is that her way of punishing? This guy is drunk. Look at him. He lit as hell. I'm done. I am done. So clearly there's a situation going on between the daughter and the father. But for some reason, Baron is not letting me know what's what's good, basically. Oh, well, let me... You know what? I'm not going to loot anymore. I've already took mad stuff as it is. I'm not... I'm not trying to have, like, a heavy... Heavy bag in my pocket, you know. Pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, param. This guy is just farting and singing. I'm really happy someone enjoys his job. At least someone likes their job. Okay, Baron. Let me look over here again. A key. A key. Hmm. It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. I hmm. mean, I already Fight know that. Happened here. I know that too. Clues. So no new dialogue. How horrible. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I missing? What am I missing? I already examined that photo twice. Wait, I didn't see that before. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Oh, the candlestick. Right here. This is where it happened. Someone who knows if maybe it could be the daughter. She must have grabbed the candlestick, and since the dad was already over here, she tried to whack a mole the guy, but totally missed. But my thing is, if that's the case, how did this hole happen? Hmm. So much. Huh. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Tucson. Exactly. Yeah, Erevalus. Scent hasn't died. 
Wonder where it'll lead me. Oh, we're on another scent trail. Exquisite. All right. Wait, wait, hold on. Where's where's the scent trail? Right in this room? No, downstairs. On that specific board? Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Baron, I got a couple questions for you, sir. Done poking around? Yeah, I'm done poking around anyways. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? It's it a like voodoo it might doll. Have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Yes. Are you far me? Mm. I made it for her. She was four, oh. perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress Tris Merigold. Tris insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. Oh snap! And I just, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> he said he made the doll. Meanwhile, Geralt said that doll was looking hella ugly. Yo, that's hilarious. This is Tris. No offense, but uh, not great with your hands, are you? Why don't you take some wooden rags? <laughs> see what image of a grown woman you can come up with. <laughs> Yo, he's such a jerk for that. But you know what? I needed to say that. I like being a jerk. It's funny. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men air valuse. Oh, damn it. Oh, mm -hmm. I might have spilled it. Might have. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. So you were the drunk that spilled everything in the room, which means when there's a fight in that room, were you also that same drunk that was throwing the candlestick or receiving the thrown candlestick? Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Don't Someone play coy with me, sir. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Mm -hmm. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. You don't? That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those Bastards, if they'd seen anything, heard anything, nothing, not a one of them. What? I really doubt that. That's really suspicious. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any Do you witches know why it or is? cunning women in the area? A pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Maybe not necessarily Anna, your wife, but more like your daughter? Wanna have a chat with this Pella? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. I bet Rumor he is. It, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not Close his what? Hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Yo, he he makes love to his goat. I am so triggered. Do I really want to go talk to this guy? This this game's getting wild already. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.